Welcome to Friday. Friday afternoon, everyone. He's just standing behind me like. We're oh. about to make y'all a cake that's going to be great for any upcoming holiday. I'm trying to think of what you were reminding me of standing back there like that. I'm just wanting to tell them <laughs> that this is going to be one you can take to any get together in the fall or winter. Mm -hmm. Or we're summer gonna... with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Summer behind mint, us. Mint chocolate cake. We're mint all chocolate tired cake. of this heat. We want to go ahead and get our fall garden started. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we need to get that mint we're, we're out gonna, of there. We're going to use our mint. Yeah, we're going to use it for this cake. Yeah. And then after that, we're going to be on to beets and carrots and things. Oh, we don't need to move that right now. Right. Oh, but yeah, we do. I'm sorry. We're we going to move this every Yeah, day. we do. It's going to really inspire you to think about the upcoming holidays, everyone. He's talking about the holidays a lot today. He's starting I'm fed up. I'm fed up with some here. heat. Is now, this look, one empty? Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all something. This He's is some good olive oil right here. That's five bottles of olive oil. I found the right one. It took me a little while to figure out which one was the right one. How do you tell about the right one? If you want to know, I take this every day. Uh, it's good for a lot of different things. I don't want to go into all the stuff, but anyway, when you open the top on that and smell it, it's supposed to almost taste like an olive. And if it tastes like an olive when you smell it, and when you take about a good a good teaspoon in your mouth and swish it around and swallow it, and you get this really burning sensation in your throat, that's how you know you got the right stuff. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's an anti-inflammatory, and uh, it's it's almost the same as taking a like a ibuprofen and mashing it up, you know, beating it and then putting it in a glass of water and swallowing it. You'd get like a tingle and a burn. That's that's what that does. So without going into extreme detail, <laughs> if you swallow olive oil like this brand right here, not trying to throw off on them or anything, but you can swallow that, and it's just about like swallowing water. No burn. Nothing. Oh, well, no, there's some, still some in there. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a drop. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, that's all gone. I'm sorry. There's a drop. That's all gone. It's been good. It's been good. We are going to start with the cake mix. Now, I'm using this springform pan, but you don't have to have a springform pan. You just, the recipe said you need at least a nine inch pan, two inches deep. It takes three hours to make this cake. So, this is a three hour mint chocolate cake. Well, I mean, it doesn't take three hours to bake, but all the processes and all the letting stuff cool. So we're gonna start with the cake part. I need a piece of parchment paper cut out uh, into the shape of that circle. What you need, Manny? Open this. Open it, yeah. It's a little hard to open. Y'all remember these things right here? That's all you had to do. You In the mixer, we're gonna put half a cup of softened unsalted butter and one cup of sugar. We're gonna cream all that together first. Good job. Had to move it. Oh no. Our tube fell. Well, it needs to be exactly the same. It needs to fit down in there, you know, oh, in, okay. on the inside. Guys, you can help your wife make this one right here. There's a little carpentry involved. Mm hmm. So, what are y'all doing this weekend? The kids, Titus was talking about setting up the tent out there for them to camp, but I don't know if anybody wants to because it's 94. It's gonna take a team effort to get this done right here, everybody. How are you? Tell me something else to do, baby. Come on. Um, you can be getting me uh, two. We need two eggs room temperature, so you can get a couple of the eggs that are still that are already out and wash those off real quick. Okay. How many we need, Mama? I'm not getting a piece of candy. Right. <laughs> You'll be very happy about this next ingredient. I'm going to let you put it in. We need a quarter cup of olive oil. Woo! Right here. I got a feeling this is going to be a delicious cake. Now we're going to mix in two eggs, one at a time. Okay, we're putting in a tablespoon of vanilla. We're gonna add the dry ingredients just one at a time in here with the wet ingredients. We're gonna start with a cup of all-purpose flour. Half a cup of cocoa powder, everybody. Can I put that one in? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, sure. Thank y'all. <laughs> a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon of salt. 
we're almost done with the cake part. We need to spray and flour this pan. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know you already put that in there, but my feelings ain't we're hurt. Spray and flour it, and uh, put that down. You didn't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's what you got right there. Now we put parchment paper in here. We need one cup of hot water, Sissy. So let's turn this on hot as we can. Hot water, everybody. Whoa, Tyler just came into the show. How much water did you put in there? One cup of hot water. Now one you're just going to stir that. One cup of hot water, in. okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of spray on this parchment paper too. Just a little light coating there. And we're going to pour this in. And it's going in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. So now we're going to make the chocolate topping part. Yeah, this one will work. We just we can't put too much water in there. We're going to turn this up to high. Put our glass bowl on top. So this is we're make you know using this like a double broiler, and we are gonna put two cups of dark chocolate in here. I got the Hershey's special dark chocolate chips. Now we're gonna put one and one fourth of a cup of heavy cream, half a teaspoon of salt. This is it for this part for right now. We're gonna add some vanilla, but we won't add that until all this chocolate is melted down in here. And I gotta keep a check and make sure my water doesn't boil out because I couldn't put a lot in there because you don't want the water to be touching the glass bowl when it starts boiling. I've switched to a whisk because I think that's gonna be a little easier, yeah. Okay, now we are almost there. That's we're gonna amazing. remove it from the heat and put in two teaspoons of vanilla. And then we're just gonna let this cool for at least 60 minutes, but 60 to 90 minutes. In the refrigerator? No, you just let it sit out and cool. Now you can pour it on hot. We've seen, you know, that done before where people just pour it on and it's really glossy on and top. And it looks like good this. like that. It kind of runs off the yeah. sides. It really gives but, a good, nice yeah. look. It's gonna run off like a lot. lot. Yeah. <laughs> or you can let it cool slightly and then it might not run off as much, but. It looks good like that though, if you wanna yeah. do it that way, but we're not gonna do it like that. We're gonna let it kinda harden up a little bit and kinda put it like a. Yeah, well it'll be more, it'll still be a little runny even when it cools down, but it won't be, it won't all run off right when we put it on the cake. The cake itself has to go in the refrigerator too for a little while while this is cooling so that the peppermint cream part on top of the cake can harden and set on the cake really good. That way when you put this on, it doesn't just, you know, smear up and smear up. Smear up, <laughs> please. It doesn't just get, you know, mush. That way it does not mush, everyone. Right. Let right. me do let me do the commentary here. Be careful that you do not smear up the <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> okay, that's done. Now this peppermint cream part's gonna surprise you, so don't go anywhere. You gotta see this part. It's not what you think. I know y'all are thinking cream cheese coming. It's not. It's not gonna be cream There's cheese. There's no cream cheese coming. We gotta go get the mint leaves. You wanna come help? No, he's watching that. Oh, DuckTales. He, he was telling me that Jonah was watching McDuckles. Push, push, woo, is it on? Mm -hmm. I'm a professional boot fitter. Mm -hmm. They come to my store, I'll be like, hey, push. <laughs> is that joker on your foot or not? Move your toes. Move your big toe. <laughs> go buy them. Pay cash. <laughs> yeah. It's time to cut the grass again. Let's see, we need two tablespoons. What do we got in there? Uh, I think we need a little bit more. Okay, so we've got one stick of softened butter in there. Now we're gonna put half a cup of shortening. Okay, there you go. So you might have to use this to scrape it out. Now we put in the chopped mint leaf. And we're gonna mix all this together. Three and a half cups of powdered sugar. Now we'll slowly start mixing that in three tablespoons of milk, and two teaspoons of peppermint extract. And that's it for this layer. We're gonna mix this together, and when the cake cools down, we'll be ready to spread this on top of it. 
supper tonight really easy we have these two packs of ravioli this one is four cheese this one is beef we're just gonna mix them together I have the water heating up over here so it says you just have to let's see bring the water to a bowl reduce heat and boil gently for five minutes it says you can do it longer for a softer bite but we're just gonna do it for five minutes because then we're gonna take them out of the water put them into a casserole dish pour some pasta sauce over the top put a little mozzarella cheese and it's going in the oven for about 15 minutes or so just to let the cheese melt. Guys, you could be tempted just at the end to leave a little bit, to just to spoon out. Don't do that. <laughs> what are we watching? Candid camera. Mm -hmm. There's something about that fresh mint leaf in there that gives that a great taste. I, I'm just being honest with you. I went ahead and did that little spoon thing, <laughs> and that's just amazing. So I'm kind of putting a little ridge on here. That way, when we put the chocolate on later, it won't just run straight off shouldn't run too bad anyway it's it's you know it's already thickened up a good bit now so this is gonna go in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes 30 minutes to an hour at least 30 though then we'll put the chocolate on top if you can put your lazy Susan on top of another lazy Susan you can really be lazy do we want the chocolate to come down the side or do we just want it to rest on top just let it rest just let it rest let that chocolate rest. Keep on spinning. Ooh. Hey, Daddy, I get to lick it. You gonna lick it? Here, there you go. Now we put it back in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes just to let this chocolate set a little. That way when we cut it, it doesn't all, you know, right. smear. Really good. It's got a, it's almost got a, a Christmas taste to it. <laughs> I'm telling you. What about the cake? It's How is really the cake? Good. It's really good. It's moist. Does it seem brownie like? Mmm. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> it's my favorite kind of cake. Uh, really good. Mm -hmm.